Uh, well, my name is Roy. I am from Costa Rica, and I live here in Madrid. That's uh, the north part of Madrid, I guess. Um, my profession, so I'm a interaction designer and a software engineer. I work remotely for an American company, and uh, yeah, so I basically work from home. So I was I was coming here on and off for. Uh, quite some time, but I've been here established properly for about two, two and a half years. Uh, well, originally because my girlfriend was here, uh, so that's what that was really the reason to come here. I do have some uh, some family in the north of Spain, and I was uh, studying in the UK for for some time, so I, that's when I started coming here. But I really came here to leave because my girlfriend was here. So, so as I said, like I don't do a lot of going to bars or clubs or things. Like I mostly go out and eat. So the Mazanchis do it's what's well, again out of this map, um, but it's near this area where I live, mm -hmm. and um, yeah, Angel Carbajo numero uh, dos, uh, two, mm -hmm. uh, six, yes. Uh, yeah, so that'll be you know up around there in the north. And yeah, it's a great place. You get wow. great service. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's awesome service. The food is delicious. Uh, like I really really enjoy the service. I think that's that's what I mostly like about this uh, that place. They say it's the place where uh, Real Madrid uh, players go to celebrate or something like that. We also heard that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> they have a bunch of pictures like all over the wall with like, I guess important people. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I don't care too much about that. I really go there because the food is really nice, but mostly because I feel attended like a king. Mm -hmm. uh, they, you know, they're always attentive. Um, it's it's fairly expensive, but but you get the service, you get uh, a bunch of treats, and you know they treat you really nice. Mm -hmm. So that's what I mostly like about that place. Um, and and I'm out. I I eat meat a lot. Like I like meat, so they have chuleton, which is a big chunk of meat. <laughs> Uh, so that's what I would typically get there, um, but they have, you know, they have a bunch of good stuff. Uh, well, luckily I did not have any problems. Uh, for once, uh, Costa Rica's got some sort of uh, treaty with the Schengen area, mm -hmm. uh, so we can come here without a visa and stay for up to uh, three months, or even there's a, a possibility of extension to six months. So just coming in and out wasn't a problem. Uh, as I mentioned, like I was studying in the UK, so I actually had a UK visa, a uh, visa to study there. So again, like getting in here it was never a problem. <clears throat> when I uh, decided to stay and whatnot, uh, getting the residency card wasn't an issue either because we actually got married and mm -hmm. uh, all that stuff. So um, it wasn't really an issue. I guess the main issue was just finding out how to get it. Like, you know, where where do you need to go to the office and go and gather the requisites and, you know, all that It's stuff. just like paperwork, but it's not... Yeah, but it, it wasn't problematic. Like, you know, like yeah. for, for someone from another country, maybe something like, I don't know, Russia or some yeah. country that might not mm -hmm. be for the treaty or whatever. Uh, but for Costa Rica, luckily enough, was um, was easy for me, yeah. I guess. And how, how did you fit? How did I fit? Uh, fine, I think. Uh, I mean, obviously there's always a little bit of cultural... I don't want to say shock or anything. I really fit well. Uh, I mean, I get along with people. Uh, we speak the same language and everything. So I think overall well. Uh, I do feel the certain cultural differences or, or difference in the way that uh, Spanish people might talk or treat you or whatever but uh but nothing major i guess